Welcome to Making the Spiritual Practical with Veronica Drake, the channel where we help you live your spirituality with grace and clarity. Hey everybody, it's Veronica of veronicadrake.com and I want to say to you first and foremost, happy Monday. Yes, I said happy Monday. So I'm going to talk to you today about something that really gets me all revved up. I love, love, love talking about this topic. And hopefully I'm going to make it really simple and really practical for you to understand, which is what I'm all about. So why do people come to spirituality? Why do they seek out the spiritual life? Well, first off, let me define as best I can, what spirituality actually is. So my definition is spirituality is the movement from self to soul, from living for the self, the ego, the personality, to living for the soul. It is a transformation that happens one revelation at a time, one aha moment at a time. Now, it also involves an extraordinary act of free will. That's what's going to transport you to spirituality. Yeah, it's a decision. You must decide to come to it. Now, I do believe that we are always being called home and for me, home is being our soul's purpose. Now, the catalyst for your journey, the reason you might want to go home, is typically the fabric, the composure of your life, of your very existence, has been shaken up. Maybe it's been dismantled. Maybe it just straight up exploded. What you thought to be true no longer can be trusted. Up here is making you nuts, maybe literally. Your life feels distorted. It feels off. It feels out of sync. You just can't quite put your finger on it. This is how almost all spiritual journeys begin including my own. Now, what you're truly looking for when you enter this path, this journey, is you're looking for solace. You're looking for peace. You're looking for calmness. What you're really looking for, most of you first timers, and maybe some repeaters, because I was a repeater, you're still looking for control as you enter this path. And what you must realize if you're going to embrace this path fully is you must let go of the need to control. When the smoothest smoothness of your life is interrupted, humans get really deep. We go inward. Some of us for a minute, some of us for a lifetime, some of us jump on and jump off and jump back on. But when we get so shaken up, we go inward. And when I mean inward, I don't mean in here. We go in here. And guess what? You're trying to pull solutions for current day situations that are old as the hills. And what you don't understand is that when you go inward, it really shakes up and gets everything else connected to this in turmoil. Because think about this, you don't just have one thought. You've, you're dealing with something right now. Your partner did something, you don't like it, you're shaken up. And all of a sudden, you go up here, what can I do? What, what can I do? What can I do? And then all of a sudden, uh, 10 years worth of stuff comes up. And now you're swirling down the rabbit hole. You're going down the drain really, really quick. And it doesn't solve anything because you keep going in a loop. Some people call that on the hamster wheel. 
when some people go inward, they ask, why me? Why this? Why now? Forget it. You're looking to make sense out of the senseless. This is the self, the ego, the personality leading the journey. Once you release this, this need to know why, you're being led by soul. And you're on a completely different path. You will notice it instantly. You will feel a calmness. Now, I want you to make note of this. Soul is only concerned with purpose. That's the true essence of everything. Soul is not bothered or troubled or paying attention to the outside world. That's not soul. That's personality and that's ego. So I want to share a quick story with you. The other night after mass, I took a sister home and we had a conversation about someone in our parish that was very riddled with angst and worry and fear. And the sister said to me, when you find the true purpose of life, now she didn't use soul or any of my language, but when she said you find the true purpose of life, and in her words, it was living close to God, you didn't have to worry. You don't have to worry because you understand that there is a divine protection and a divine order to everything. So take note, where are you on your spiritual journey? What called you to be spiritual? What is it? What's making you keep jumping around in here? And what's it gonna take for you to transition into a spiritual journey that's led by your soul? You got questions? Post them. I'll do my very best to answer them. About this topic, of course. If this is helpful, please share it with your friends. If you're watching me on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. And please visit veronica.com and see what's over there for you. You may benefit from getting a private reading from the angels and me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share us with your friends. Let's make the spiritual practical.